Now to our other story that I Providence police have released new information into the largest shooting in the city's history. Police say all nine victims, the eight that were shot here on Carolina Avenue and the ninth person that was injured by broken glass are expected to be OK. We have live team coverage of this mass shooting. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones has reaction from neighbors who say they're still reeling from last night's violence. But first we go live to Brittany Schaefer with the very latest information that police just released a short time ago. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, police just wrapped up a press briefing here at the Providence Public Safety Complex about an hour ago. They tell us around 60 shots were fired last night on Carolina Avenue. Tonight, three people remain in critical condition at Rhode Island Hospital. Providence Police Chief Colonel Hugh Clemens is confident all people involved in the city's largest shooting in history will be held accountable. It's uh, senseless in what they committed last night. There is uh, no regard for human safety and Clement says four people in a truck fired 40 rounds at five people on a porch on Carolina Avenue. He says five guns were used, including semi automatic weapons. At least two of the individuals and maybe more on the porch began to return fire as those four individuals scurried back to the truck. Clemens emphasizing the shooting was not random and started after a feud between two groups. He would not classify the groups as gangs, but says they are very familiar with the individuals and the two groups are known to be violent against each other. He says in 2017, police recovered 10 firearms from the same address. Tonight, Clemens says no arrests have been made, but police are standing by at Rhode Island Hospital to likely arrest people as they are released. He says he is confident all shooters have been identified and are not out in the community. Uh, the charges that will be forthcoming, and there will be several, uh, they will range from, you know, felony assault, ADW, to uh, conviction after uh, possession after a conviction of crime of violence. So. And Clemens tells us they are incre increasing patrols in the neighborhood this weekend to deter any possible retaliation. He's also adding that the police department believes that all the violence happening in Providence is done by a small percentage of young men. Tonight, I'm live in Providence. Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Brittany, thank you. As you can imagine, the nearby community is still reeling from last night's shooting. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones spoke to neighbors. She joins us now live with how they're feeling today. Chelsea. Well, guys, many of them are scared and they say this just does not happen here. One neighbor I spoke to says he's happy he wasn't home when those 60 shots rang out. Jesus, if I would have been here, probably I would have got hit. Erickson Fenton lives across the street from 87 Carolina Avenue. The scene of Providence's largest shooting to date. Nine people taken to the hospital. This bullet went came through the wall right here and it hit the foot right there. So it was, like I told the other guy, it, was, it's a, it seems like it was a powerful gun because to be able to go through a wall like that. And for this community, this is not normal. Uh, we're shocked. We are very shocked because Washington Park has always been a tight knit community. Dion Baker has lived in the area his whole life and says it's going to take a few things to heal the community and stop gun violence. This is we have to recognize that there is a problem um, and that has to happen first. Next, what we have to as a as a person of faith, um, I believe that we need to see God as well. Um, but overall, what needs to happen is resources uh, need to be afforded to young people. No one answered when we went to see if anyone was at the home riddled with bullets. Police say this shootout was not random. It was targeted. And this drive by was caught on camera. 12 News is working to retrieve that video for you so that we can pinpoint exactly what happened here. Live in Providence, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News. Another big story on this busy Friday, what Providence's police chief is calling a barrage of bullets in the Washington Park neighborhood. Just a short time ago, the chief, mayor, and public safety commissioner released new information on the people involved in what is believed to be the largest shooting in the city's history. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones is standing by with reaction. Well, we begin our team coverage with Brittany Schaefer live with the latest from city leaders. Brittany. 
Well, Mike Shannon, police tell us seven people remain in the hospital tonight. Three are in critical condition, but all are expected to be okay. Providence Police Chief Colonel Hugh Clemens says he is confident all people responsible will be held accountable. Providence police tell us 60 shots were fired, resulting in nine people wounded in the city's largest shooting in history. In somber night in the city of Providence, and today is a gloomy day. This happened in broad daylight Thursday evening on Carolina Avenue. Providence Police Chief Colonel Hugh Clemens tells us eight of the victims were shot. One was injured from glass shards. Police say the victims are eight men and one woman who range in age from 19 to 25. Clemens says four people in a truck fired 40 rounds at five people on a porch on Carolina Avenue using semi-automatic weapons. At least two of the individuals and maybe more on the porch began to return fire as those four individuals scurried back to the truck. It's emphasizing the shooting was not random and started after a feud between two groups. He would not classify the groups as gangs, but says they are very familiar with the individuals and the two groups are known to be violent against each other. Aside from the individuals, police also say the address is one they've searched before. In 2017, we conducted a search warrant at this same very house with some of these same individuals and recovered 10 firearms. And police say they have a good idea of who is responsible, but no arrests have been made at this time. They also tell us officers are standing by at Rhode Island Hospital to likely make arrests as people are released. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Brittany, thank you. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones went back to the Washington Park neighborhood today. She talked to people still shaken from last night's gun battle. Chelsea? Well, Mike, many people that I spoke with today did not want to go on camera, but they tell me that they are scared. I've seen several people in and out of the home shot up by bullets, and even I went to the door. Here's what happened. No answer at this home on Carolina Avenue, where police say at least eight people were shot. The largest shooting in Providence history. How does it feel to have something like this happen in your neighborhood? It's surprising because this is a real quiet neighborhood. Erickson Fenton lives across the street and well, his home was hit too. This bullet went, came through the wall right here and it hit the foot right there. So it was, like I told the other guy, it, was, it's a, it seems like it was a powerful gun because to be able to go through a wall like that. Many of you asked if this shooting was gang related, so I asked the mayor. But is it gang related? We know both of these folks, the, both of these sides, and it's part of an ongoing feud. If you want to call it gang related, go ahead. Police believe this shooting was not random and the investigation reveals one group that had three to five guns drove up to this home, opened fire on several people on the porch. Erickson, thankful he wasn't home. Jesus, if I would have been here, probably I would have got hit. Now we are told that there is surveillance video of this incident and we are working to track down it for you. Once we get it, we'll show you. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.